What's up, everybody? I'm that guy Osiris, and I'm here to discuss Lab Diamonds. Now, the last video I made was five things I love about Lab Diamonds. So to be fair, I promised I would make a five things I hate about Lab Diamonds. So let's be even here and let's bring up the negatives. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Osiris. I'm a GIA trained diamond expert. I was in the diamond trade for many years, and now I help people like you understand and be confident when they're buying their diamond. The number one thing I hate is the lack of resale value. Yes, lab diamonds do have less resale value, but I have a couple things to discuss in that realm. So yeah, in general, it is true. If you walk into a jewelry store to try to sell your lab diamond, you're out of gas, you're done. You're gonna get zero for it most likely. Some will say I don't even deal with labs. Okay, so that is true. However, selling a natural diamond is by no means fun. Nobody gets a large portion back. You're getting 50% back at best if you go to a jewelry store or pawn shop. Most people get 20 cents on the dollar for most diamonds. A lot of the online vendors that I support, they have a trade-in policy. So let's say you want to upgrade your diamond. Well, as long as you buy double the price point, you could upgrade your diamond and return the other one. Now that sounds scary, but lab diamonds are already affordable. So where a lab diamond might be 3,500 for a two carat, that's like 18, 19,000 in a, in a natural diamond. So to double that natural diamond, you're talking about $40,000. And to double the lab diamond, you're talking about $2,500, $3,000, $4,000, which is a lot more manageable if you want to upgrade your diamond, okay? Uh, second point, you could sell it online on eBay or offer up Facebook Marketplace. And in fact, there's a video right up here about resale that I made that I was actually able to prove that someone got as much back as they pretty much would have if it was a natural diamond percentage wise. They got 50, 60% back, which is a natural amount you get when you sell a diamond natural or lab. So. In theory, yes, it has poor resale value because pawn shops are not going to want them. Most jewelers are not going to want them if you walk into a jewelry store. But to be honest, even if it was a natural diamond, you're going to be losing so much money that is it really a huge positive like the resale? Like if this is a diamond that's forever or if you're planning on proposing, the resale shouldn't matter that much. What should matter is the up upgrade policy. So if you buy from a good qualified vendor, uh, like the ones on my website, you have the upgrade policy that you simply just double the money and you get a bigger diamond. Or maybe instead of upgrading, you could do an earring, make an earring out of that diamond, buy another pair of labs. So yes, resale value is terrible. Yes, but you could go on eBay, you could go on OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and odds are you're gonna lose 60% of your total investment which lines up with natural diamond loss. Who wants to lose money at a pawn shop? I mean, that's it's, a, it's very sad regardless. Now, if you like my channel, don't smash the like button, don't subscribe. I don't need that kind of support, but if you do want to support my work, I just came up with this, boom. It is an LED light box. It makes your diamond pop, okay? So if you're proposing nighttime, dinner time, to be honest, even the daytime, this stands out and it just gives the diamond a sparkle. Without this, still nice, but so much better with it. So consider supporting my work and taking a look at this. I will have links below to my Amazon page. Second thing I hate, they're not as established, okay? What does that mean? Lab diamonds just recently became popular uh, as a alternative to natural diamond for many reasons, um, but it's still not established. If you tell somebody, oh, I'm looking at this lab diamond, they're gonna be like, lab diamond? That's, what are you talking about? They're going to immediately have a, a, attach a negative connotation to it. And because it's not established, it goes right into my next point. There's a perception, a negative perception to a lab diamond because people just don't know about it. They don't understand that it's the same as a natural diamond chemically and optically. Perception is huge, okay? That is probably the biggest negative, let's be honest. Perception. It runs the world, okay? It's all about what people think. But because it's not established, there could be a negative connotation and a negative perception. Now, that perception is changing, obviously. In the, in the last couple of years, it has skyrocketed lab diamonds, okay? 
probably for a couple things uh, affordability number one number two it is green i mean it's nice to know that you know a diamond is not going to hurt the environment or someone's not going to be taken advantage of or there's no child labor so those things are positives but let's be honest the biggest positive is is money right it costs a lot less and it's chemically and optically the same so why would you not it just makes a lot of sense right so especially in these times where the economy is a little tighter and you know there are uh, recessions looming so hey more money for your kitchen bathroom buying a house you know i'm not going to say honeymoon because listen this is 2023 money's important investing in the future is important if you're starting a life together you want to have some money saved up so if the perception is slowly being altered then that negative is slowly going to change but as of right now there is a perception to it that's negative it, it's up to us to educate people so they understand the positives and hey you don't need to talk about it you have a diamond ring on you don't need to say hey i have a lab diamond because it's green and it aligns with my values i promise you everyone's looking at lab diamonds right now because it just makes so damn so much damn sense right so it is a negative perception bad but it's changing a lot of people are coming around to it including me i love lab diamonds okay i'm all about them next is limited availability yes you're gonna have trouble finding these things again i'm an online advocate some people don't want to buy online okay my channel is dedicated for you to understand diamonds and hopefully the goal is to buy online because you're ed educated and you understand hey why spend more locally when i have more options online to buy well, when it comes to lab diamonds, you're going to be pretty much forced to go online because very few people have it locally. And if they do, they're probably overpriced and they're going to have very limited quantity. And you're going to be picking from a handful of stones instead of picking from a thousand stones and really narrowing down your preferences. So ideally, online is the way to go because you're going to have very little availability locally. So if you're someone that wants to buy stuff locally and touch it and feel it and see it, you're kind of out of gas. You're going to have to buy online. Okay, but hey, you have found my channel. My channel is dedicated to help you, the buyer, save a lot of money. Buy right and save some money, man. The final thing is confusion, okay? Nobody wants to have a long conversation talking about and explaining lab diamonds to somebody who just looks at it like it's costume jewelry, okay? They don't understand what it is. They're confusing it with synthetic diamonds. No, it's not a fake diamond. It is a lab diamond. It's made in a lab, okay? But it's chemically and optically the same. They don't know that. They think, oh my God, he just bought a lab diamond. Who buys fake jewelry? It's not fake, man. It's real. So yes, it's definitely a negative when you have to talk about it and explain things to people because they think it's fake. You don't want to feel like you have a fake jewelry. So you're going to defend your purchase to somebody that just doesn't know. Now, soon enough, they're going to understand as it's growing in popularity, it's unavoidable. It's unavoidable to learn about lab diamonds because it is a hot item and it's growing and a lot of people are buying. Okay, so... Yes, you're going to be dealing with a lot of confused people, most likely older people, some younger people still, but you're going to be dealing with confused people and you're probably going to have to educate some people on lab diamonds. So that's definitely a negative. I try my hardest to be critical on lab diamonds. I do love lab diamonds. To me, they're unique and they just open up the world of diamonds to a lot more people. You know, in the past when no one had a, a budget, they were buying really bad, really bad goods super yellow, super dirty, no brilliance. So people that couldn't afford diamonds, they were buying in these places that had awful deals, uncertified goods. So now I like the fact that a lot more people have access to beautiful diamonds and nice looking large diamonds. Cause let's be real. No one wants little diamonds. You know, sometimes there's a unicorn out there and when you find that unicorn, you, you hold on tight. Okay. But most people want big diamonds. It's, it's blingy, it's flashy, it's beautiful. So it, it is the reality of our world, bigger is better. And this just gives even a low budget person the chance of buying a beautiful one carat diamond for an affordable price. So that's never gonna be a negative thing. And they're buying an actual diamond, you know, whether it's lab or natural, it's chemically and optically the same. So I hope you love this video. Please take a look at my other content so you can learn more about diamonds. And don't forget, you have my website that has deals of the week. It's got all the different tips and tricks and articles to help you understand diamonds, lose the fear of buying diamonds, and buy confidently and save some money. So till the next one, see you next time.